Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, or if this happens to be your first time here, welcome to the channel. I am said Stevie. Quick beverage check because I'm parched. I need to wet my whistle. Drinking some coffee. Not black like my soul, as I usually do. Added a splash of vanilla oat milk to the coffee. Uh, drinking out of my get it loser. We're doing butt stuff. A mug from my homegirl, Laura. All right. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, I have a couple of 80 20.5s here. Uh, Demco 80 20.5s. I have my clip point and my shark's foot. I have carbonized scales on both of them. Uh, White Storm Fat Carbon on the clip point and uh, Frag Pattern Black Linen Micarta on the shark's foot. And I love the way this looks on the clip point. I like these scales, but there's something else that caught my eye. And so yesterday, these arrived. Well, what the heck is OG? Well, let me tell you, folks. Uh, you probably already know, but uh, OG is Original Goat. Uh, they make scales for, I think, uh, Spyderco PM2s and Para 3s and uh, Demco 8020s and 8020.5s and uh, Backspacers. And, uh, oh, okay, so got some hardware there. Uh, yeah, uh, I picked up some original goat uh, scales. Had been eyeing them for a while, and then at Blade Show, uh, ran into Marty, a.k.a. Knife Eclectic, and uh, went and saw the uh, booth that original goat had and got to feel some, and I really liked them. Almost picked some up while I was there, ended up deciding not to, and I'm actually kind of glad uh, that I waited, because upon returning, uh, my very good homeboy, my brother, my doctor, Gonzo, of Gonzo uh, Reviews, got himself an affiliate link with Original Goat, uh, Gonzo10, and so I jumped on that and saved a little bit of money, supported the uh, brother Gonzo, and ordered these here. And man, uh, these things are awesome. Uh, you can see on this side here, uh, it says Demco 8020.5 AI. Uh, that's for aluminum. And uh, OG uh, stamped in there. I think it's the exact same thing on this side. Yep. I had them uh, in Cerakoted Black. Uh, these are the thick aluminum. Uh, I don't know uh, what that pattern is called. Uh, but then I got the uh, aluminum backspacer as well. You can see the uh, OG uh, logo in there. So, uh, yeah. I've decided that I'm going to keep the clip point with the fat carbon. And I'm going to uh, replace the black linen frag micarta uh, with these original goat scales so uh let's get into this um i've taken these apart many a times and done swaps it's been a little bit though um i should actually probably link my old demco video i'll do that up here somewhere um where i talk about these i'm not going to be really doing a review on these so go watch that video if you want kind of an overview. Um, I'm sure I'll talk about it more, but this is going to be more uh, about these original goat scales. So I'm going to need uh, some bits in my original or my uh, good screw uh, basic beach. Oh crap, that's right. Holy moly. All right, I uh, got my basic beach uh, bit driver. I forgot I have uh, some six millimeter skiffs uh, for this as well. Um, forgot that I found these the other day, and, uh, yeah, so these will go in as well while I'm uh, putting this all together. So that's cool. Uh, so I know that I'm going to need a T10 and a T6, 
And I gotta take everything apart here. I gotta take the clip and everything off, so I'm just gonna start yarding this thing out. Um, like I said, I've done this a bunch of times before, so um, I'm not gonna keep track of too much stuff. I'm just gonna kinda go for it and start uh, taking everything apart here. Um, let's see, I'll do the pocket clip first. Uh, I did uh, one thing about the Demco 8020.5s that I will say while I'm taking this apart is uh, it's a great knife. In my opinion, you do have to spend the extra money though to do some upgrades for it to be a great knife. And uh, like upgrading the pocket clip to a lynch clip and getting rid of those FRN or Grivery I don't remember uh, those plastic uh, scales that it comes with. They're just, they're no good. Um, I mean, I guess they're fine, really. Uh, but they're just not for me. So, um, yeah. So you do got to spend a little bit more uh, money. Um, you know, it's a $130 knife that, or 100 uh oh, uh oh, did I? Okay, good. So, the one thing you want to be careful about when you're taking these apart is not to launch this shark lock spring uh, into outer space. Um, unless you have a spare one, it's going to, you're going to have a bad day um, if you. Uh, was that missing a bearing? Or is it stuck to the. Oh, okay, it's stuck to the uh, liner there. Um. <sighs> Lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, you have to upgrade this knife, though, for it to become great, in my opinion. But once you do, I think it's really worth it. But a, uh, um, you know, $150 knife becomes a close to $300 knife, really. So uh, getting rid of the backspacer there. Um, do I have everything in order to start putting this together? Um, I do. I'm gonna have to put uh, this liner on there. And uh, where is the backspacer? So these uh, spacers gotta go throughout the. Okay, so the other one there, you can index them with that D shape there. This one, these do not. So uh, that's kind of nice actually. So I'm just gonna set this backspacer into there. And start popping some screws back in place. Um, this one right here. Yes, sir. All right. So, um, let's put the uh, pocket clip back on. It came with hardware, but I don't know that I need it. We'll see. We shall see if we end up needing those or not. What's going on there? Okay, it's not lined up. Got to get them uh, matched up there. I'm losing the spacers. I'm trying to do this so doesn't take too long on camera here <sighs> so like I said I have done this uh, quite a few times it's a fairly there's a lot involved with this knife but it's uh, it's fairly simple it's not too bad at all um, just uh, a lot of steps with having to put the liners and these spacers and uh, messing with the That's not the right screw there. That needs to be longer. Or does it? Hmm. What's going on there? Why won't that thread into there? There we go. Okay. Um, so because they're the fat scales, uh, they're actually sitting uh, pretty recessed down into there. Do I need to turn on my light? Uh, it's getting a little dark out. 
That's too much. Pause. There we go. I turned on the uh, porch light. That'll uh, make things a little bit easier. Uh, as I was saying, though, uh, these are the thicker scales, so they're sitting down into the uh, scales a lot more, which I really like. I do really like that. So this is a captured pivot, so I need to make sure I put that in the right way. And Oh, yeah, that really sits down in there. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, uh, now we can start uh, reassembling. So I'm going to need to put a bearing on there. Uh, I'm going to need the stop pin and these standoffs here. And that's going to... Oops, lost the pivot. Pivot! Pivot! All right, that's annoying. I should have waited and put the clip on last. Because now it's uh, sitting up off of the tabla there. Off of my work mat. Um, okay, what's next? Uh, put the blade on and then reassemble the shark lock. So, um... How did the shark lock go on there? That's right. Okay, so have you guys ever taken one of these uh, bad boys apart? You guys have problems with it? I never have. Like I said, it's a couple extra steps and you gotta... The main thing here, be careful with the spring. Be very careful with the spring. Um, push that pivot in a little bit further there. Alright, now let me set the other bearing on there. And now, we can place this liner on there. Oh, lost another bearing. Get off of that bearing! Why is it magnetized all of a sudden? Must be my personality. My magnetic personality. Alright, did everything pop back into place? That pivot go on there all the way? It certainly did. It certainly, certainly did. And the pivot is seated all the way. So I can now take my other... Um, hold on. Did I put the right backspacer on? Okay, I did. Whew. Thought for a second I fucked that up. That would not have been a good thing, would it? Alright, so now I'm just going to go uh, back to front and start cinching down all these body screws. And then I'll put the pivot in, check for centering, call it a day. Call it a day. Or an evening. It's been a long day. Uh, it's Thursday evening for me right now. And tomorrow morning I'm getting up bright and early and driving down to... Um, the Pacific Northwest meetup at WorkSharp. That's going to be a lot of fun. See a lot of cool uh, Pacific Northwest uh, knife enthusiasts. I know Zach stuff is going to be there. Z-Man, uh, JB. Uh, it's put, being put on by Pocket Razor, uh, hosted by WorkSharp. Um, yeah. All right, so let's check centering. Looks to be a little off, so maybe I need to cinch this down. A skosh. Oh, it was really... A, uh, I thought it was a lot tighter than it was. No blade play. Boom. Um, I can already tell. Just a nano skosh there. So those uh, bearings are supposed to help with... The skips are supposed to help with that side-to-side -side blade play. And definitely did. Okay, um, I can already say this feels like a completely different knife uh, in hand with these uh, thick scales. Um, yeah, you can tell a big time difference. Uh, I really, really like that. I like how nothing, everything is flush now or countersunk into the scales because uh, I guess because they're fatter, now nothing sits proud on the scale you see that there everything is flush 
um, except for uh, the pocket clip. Yeah, uh, these are dope, dude. Uh, I ain't joking. Uh, these are great. Um, the fit and finish of these are really well uh, done. Really, really well. Um, you don't see any gaps at all uh, with the backspacer. You don't uh, see any gaps at all in the uh, liners there. So you never know what you're going to get with aftermarket stuff. And clearly, they've nailed their process. And, um, oh, cut out. Oh, I'm back. Um, yeah, uh, original goat, dude. Uh, these are not, these folks are not messing around. Um, I could have got the scales without the, uh, lanyard, uh, post, uh, or lanyard hole in them. It costs like extra 10 bucks and it doesn't bother me that much. So, um, there is really no need uh, to pay that in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, this just made this knife, uh, that much better. And, um, yeah, uh, I really, really like this. Liked it before, uh, with these, uh, carbonized, uh, frag linen micarta scales. But, um, the OG goat scales are amazing. Um, I got my action dialed in perfectly. I don't think, uh, well, let me just, another hair there. Yeah. All right. So we got thumb flick. We got middle finger flick uh, from the studs. We have you can slow roll it. Uh, I can middle finger flick it. And then you can shark lock it. Pop lock and drop it. Yeah. Um, very well. I'm digging it. Um, so, uh, can I recommend the scales uh from original goats uh the answer is yes i can um they're definitely aluminum uh a, a little slick uh, initially but because of that texturing um the you can get a really good grip on here absolutely um let's talk uh pricing on these so uh let's see here i have their uh my order pulled up here so I ordered these on, I think, the 30th, and they arrived. So it took about a week for them to arrive. Uh, the, you can see there the backspacer, uh, the coated aluminum uh, was, uh, and I got the jimped stone gray. Those were 22 or $25. Uh, these are, oh, the fat goat, that's what they're called, the thick aluminum scales uh, with black Cerakote. Whoops, I just uh, showed my uh, notifications there. Um, uh, those were originally 90 And then you can see there, I did use Gonzo 10, and that saved me $11.50. So it was $103.50, um, which included shipping uh, for these uh, scales. So this, in this configuration, with a $20 pocket clip, so let's, let's call it $130.00. Plus, you know, so this is now a $280 knife. Is this worth a 200, 280 bucks? I don't know. Uh, that's that's up to you. I like it, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, the OS 10 doesn't bother me. I've uh, sharpened this quite a few times and brought it back to life. Um, it has gone dull on me, but I've sharpened it probably two or three times. And um, I don't have any problems with it. No, twice. Twice I've sharpened this. Um, so, uh, again, um, that is a lot of money, uh, for this knife, for sure, no doubt about it, but, you know, if you really like this knife and you want to customize it and make it your own, um, I think it's worth it at that point. I like that, uh, uh, jimped, uh, backspacer for sure. Was the last one jimped? It was just a little bit finer. Uh, jumping on there um yeah i might order a backspacer for this an aluminum i'm definitely keeping the uh fat carbon uh on the uh, clip point but um i'm gonna start putting this stuff away here uh but yeah 
I don't really have too much else to say about... I didn't have to use the uh, screws that it came with. Um, maybe I should have, but I didn't. I didn't use them because I didn't think I needed to. Um, what happened to my other set of... Yeah, I'll find them as I put them up. Oh. They're hiding behind the sticker. I thought I dumped them out somewhere. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say about uh, the Demco 8020.5 that I haven't already said. Um, it's a great knife. I dig it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these uh, carbonized uh, linen micarta scales. Um, if you watch this and you got an 8020.5 and you want them... I'll make you a deal on them. I don't remember what I paid, uh, so hit me up. I'll look it up, and I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll give you a good deal on them for sure. Uh, again, they're great, uh, great scales. I just I don't think I need them anymore. Well, in fact, I know I don't. No, no use for them anymore. But yeah. So um, again, great company. Uh, make sure you follow, um, I got them pulled up here. Make sure you follow, uh, Knife Eclectic, uh, for one. And then, uh, go over and follow, uh, what was that? Uh, Original Goat, right? OG Goat. Follow OG Goat, um, for all their, uh, updates and whatnot. Fabulous company. And then also, and I'll have all this linked, um... Follow my homie, Gonzo. Uh, Gonz has great, great, great reels that he posts. Uh, great selection of knives that he's always posting. Um, and then definitely uh, go uh, subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel. Um, he's one of my favorite people. Uh, again, just an amazing, amazing dude. Uh, shout out to uh, Dr. Gonzo. And yeah, shout out to original goat if i can get this uh, back in there um very well done i'm very uh, impressed with their company <sighs> that's it folks put this one away and we will end with a look at that ain't she something ain't she something all right folks i appreciate you tuning in um, please don't forget to subscribe and why don't you check out that video right there? Make sure you click the notification bell and, um, that's it. Appreciate you until the next one. Deuces.